hello y'all and welcome back to the channel and we're getting ready for may 1st i believe they said the real housewives of atlanta will be coming back and we want to introduce the cast all right we got it all from e online.com these six beautiful photos of these women on the real housewives of atlanta we got kenya moore Kenya Moore's confidence shines bright at the whirlwind season, dancing with the stars in Los Angeles and spending time in Turks and Caicos. Raising daughter Brooklyn is her top priority, but she still finds time to focus. Yes, on her business as her hair care line reaches new heights. Despite, hold on y'all. Uh-huh. Bye, boy. Bye. <laughs> bye bye <laughs> my cousin is stupid y'all we were just going back talking about some words they used in the 70s and stuff and one of them was shucky ducky quack quack and the other one was like Barry white saying show you right we were just having fun but let's get back to this video okay yes Kenya's reaching new heights with her business affairs and despite making peace last season tensions rise between Kenya and Marlo and with years of history the two may never be able to see eye to eye then we got the famous Cherie Whitfield she's back and Chateau Charette is complete. After years of anticipation, she, by Charette, final lunches and the long-awaited spring, summer. They meant to say spring, summer, fall, winter. But they just said spring, summer, joggers hit this marketplace. Hit the marketplace. Her old flame, Tyrone, is back in the picture. But with a complicated past, the rekindling of their relationship doesn't run according to plan. And we know... We know. Sheree, some, did she get a white folks nose? Did she do something? To, I know she did some lifting on her face. Some contouring. Yeah, you know, she's always had a sick body. The girl should have been a aerobic instructor or something. I don't know why she didn't first see that. Knight could have gave her. Or Adidas could have gave her a line. But I don't know. Maybe she just wanted to do it for herself. But we're going to applaud Sheree Whitfield for coming back. Hopefully she's going to make it do what it do. And she's going to be a more formative player here on the Housewives. But yeah, that's a little joke in the back. Sending Bravo his cease and desist letters and all that mess. So we're going to let him rest. Now we got Marlo Hampton. Yes, Marlo Hampton doesn't miss a beat when it comes to fashion. Okay, but finds herself with a full plate as she balanced raising her nephews while, ra while facing the family's hard times and growing pains. Yes, because the role of a mother or a mom, mother, mom, mother, whatever you want to put it, a mom, auntie, my auntie, monty, uh, it's what she's called now because she don't really know. She's never raised children before. She's never had any children. But hey, when life throws you lemons, you make lemonade, right, Marlo? Okay, but not all of the ladies are buying what she's selling. Marlo and Candy's relationship is in question after an altercation goes below the belt. And we're like, ooh, what kind of altercation was that? What kind of altercation was that? But we have to wait until season 14 appears, okay? And Marlo shows or her ugly head shows its face and we can see what made candy go off the uh wire and go belt well blow by blow below the belt on miss marlo hampton what could she have said that got candy so too fit to be tied well she had to come out of pocket but we'll have to wait and see now we have the lovely drusadora okay back for her sophomore season drusadora returns with a major glow up and new acting gigs and business ventures in the works now pause here because i'm like girl i hope you ain't coming back talking about your husband is cheating again or this that and the third when y'all just had a renewal a vow renewal I don't know, Drew Store. He may not be your knight in shining armor. But welcome back for your sophomore season. From Boken Trust, questionable assistance. Drew and her husband, Ralph, confronts the strains in the relationship head on through couples counseling. I'm like, oh, counseling is something if you think you definitely need it. But if you're dealing with a cheater, 
all the counselor in the world is not going to help the situation. That person has to change through for the better if they think anything about their current relationship they're in with you. Okay, but I heard Drusador was throwing dog treats at somebody. I don't know if it was a friend or one of the housewives or it was one of the housewives. But I'm like, girl, did you take a... I don't even think Portia did no shit like that, okay? I know Nene threw shit, you know, but I'm like, it is what it is. We're going to move on. We're going to go to the fabulous businesswoman, Candy Burris Tucker. Okay, Candy Burris is a driven and ever with ambition to dominate music, Broadway, film, and television. Candy's son, Ace, has plans to follow in his mother's footsteps and begins to act alongside Candy. At home, Todd and Mama Joyce reunite old battles surrounding estate plans, for the family and their future success. And I did see uh, just a little quick fix in a hurry. <laughs> Riley was there being filmed. I said, Riley back in town. Oh my goodness. All right. She came to get her little two cents in and told her mom to cut a check for her. I ain't got nothing wrong with that. I think it's too much hair there. Kind of giving me Porsche tease, but. Maybe it should have been a little thinner. I don't know. But maybe Candy was going for the royal rich look. Who knows? Okay. Uh, but anyway, going back to a scene that I did see. Todd is just not really liking Riley or Mama Joyce or Candy at the time. He said, y'all just selfish. I can't stand y'all. Something to that degree. I'm like, oh, see, that's what I'm saying, Candy. Woo, that's what I'm saying. You got your two babies, honey. If he crossed that line, poof, he can be gone. But... It has something to do with who she's living money to and he don't feel it needs to be done that way and I can't wait to see that part. So maybe Candy won't be a bone collector this time. Maybe she'll be a little bit transparent of her relationship that she has with Todd. Okay, because she has been secluding it here and there. So it could get a little messy for Candy. All right could get a little messy but like she says if Sheree can be very transparent this season we need you to be a little bit more transparent with the comings and going with Todd and how he really feels about your family but moving on from there we got the newcomer the Olympian gold winter gold winter the Olympian gold winner Samuel Richards Ross Joining the cast this season is Sanya Richards Ross, a mother, wife, professional athlete, and Olympian medalist. Focused on expanding her professional ventures while still prioritizing her family, Sanya and her husband contemplates if the time is right to have another child. Ooh, well, that's between you and the Lord. Between you and your husband, your body, and the Lord, honey. He will put no more on, the, on you than you can bear. But... Balancing all the stuff you have and the current child you do have, Sanya. I don't know if that's a good thing at this time. But moving on from there. With living parents, her family and Jamaican upbringing is at the forefront of her life. This season, Sanya brings the ladies to Jamaica to share her culture and host a much needed tropical getaway. Now I'm like, I was there for it. I was there for it. And when she got into it, I, I'm believing with Drew Sedora. Honey, Sanya started talking into her native tongue. I was like, what the hell is she talking about? She was mumbling going on. I said, oh, I hope she ain't put no spells on that girl. But either or, she said something really upset to make Sanya go into her her native tongue and try to cuss the girl out okay so i'm like all right girl say your bilingual self go go get you girl go get you i'm there for you so you can come with the rawr, the cat stuff i'm right there honey just don't put your hands on nobody make like you want to do talk like you do but don't actually do the do okay that's what i am saying but it's a beautiful cast i can't wait for them to get it on get 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 it on and bring the drama we especially looking for marlo to definitely bring something because she's definitely been a housewife name but only been like a friend so we're seeing her in a new light she holds a peach a full-time peach so we want her to come with the drama okay and I have high hopes for Miss Sanya Richards Ross. Okay, I need her to come show up. And from what the trailer was giving me, she is showing out. And I like.
like it. <laughs> but that is all I have for this video, guys. So make sure y'all tune in to somebody's channel or TV screen or have you get down and look at that first episode. All right. It should be explosive because we need something to keep us coming back. So they need to drop some real hot stuff that first episode. And then come on back to the house. Come on back to Damn Chanel Sport Ace where you know where we keep it. You know how we get down. We go for the juggler all the time because we got to be truthful or we have to be expressing my perspective of my truth of the situation. Okay, did I say that right, y'all? Did I say that right? But that's all I have for this video, guys. And like I say, May 1st is the show off date where they will be coming back for season 14 of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. All right, and I'll see y'all then. And you know, you need to come on back anyway for my other video videos that i'll be dropping but it just is what it is love you all and good night